Okay, well, the Christmas special, uh, uh, I think Stephen's written a very Christmassy Christmas special. Um, well, the Doctor uh, arrives on a planet. Um, him and Amy have been, and Rory have been, have been sort of um, separated, and they're off on a honeymoon on a cruise liner travelling around space, which is actually trapped somewhere and in great danger, obviously. Um, and the Doctor arrives on a planet to find a sort of old Scrooge-like character, played by Michael Gambon very brilliantly, and then um, sort of discovers uh, that, that, that there are these, these fish swimming around, but in the air, not in the water, not anywhere else, because there's a mad fog and it's all explained. Um, so the Doctor sets about having to warn and intrigue and entrust the Scrooge-like character out of his cold, icy heart uh, to save the world, in a sort of very bad nutshell. If that was the novel, that would be the worst blurb ever. So, um, yeah, I mean, the Doctor and this character that Michael plays, I mean, I mean, it, you know, it plays on the idea of the, of the ghosts of Christmas past, but in a sort of time travelly twist. And we go and visit him at different stages in his life and see what his relationship to Christmas is, really. Um, and, 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 and how we can change his mentality. Um, and, you know, I mean, the Doctor's particularly sort of in his element. He's, in, he's, he's just in quite a good mood because it's Christmas. <laughs> um, so, you know, we visit this character at different stages in his life, at different times, you know, in his life. And how was it working with uh, Michael? Did you find that intimidating at all? Or? Uh, well, I wouldn't say intimidating. Just I, was just I was just excited. Michael Gambon is the reason that I wear brightly coloured socks. And I wear brightly coloured socks in my life, and it's because of Michael, because um, I saw him at the National playing full staff. I was there doing a play at the same time. And um, he, he'd sort of be in the cafe upstairs drinking tea with, like, mad coloured socks. And I always thought, wow, they look cool. So then I started wearing them, and I told him at the read-through. But he's just brilliant. I mean, he just doesn't disappoint in any way as a human and as an actor. And he's everything you sort of want Michael Gambon to be. He is a um, privilege. You know, cool, cool guy. So is it strange uh, filming Christmas scenes in July? How are you dealing with that? I quite enjoy it, actually. I've always wanted to um, because, I don't know, I love the feeling of Christmas anyway. And I've just always wanted to have that feeling of, yay, everything's really good and really Christmassy. And it is weird, you know, you've got pine trees and Christmas music and turkey and stuff on set. But uh, I, yeah, yeah, I, it's, it's thoroughly enjoyable, I've got to say. So, returning to the show now after the success of uh, the last series, yeah. do you feel like you're approaching the role of the Doctor any differently, and do you think the character has evolved? Yeah, I think he's definitely evolved from sort of the eleventh hour, for instance, and he will continue to evolve. I mean, it's it's definitely my intention to keep challenging the ideas of the character and challenging the character itself, and not really sit on my laurels in any way. And I want to keep pushing it forward because that's what keeps me interested. I want to keep being inventive and keep surprising myself I suppose um, I know Stephen will give me the scripts to do it so that's definitely the aim however that happens I don't know but but you know that's certainly the aim and uh, Amy and Rory are now a married couple yeah uh, how does the doctor react to uh, traveling with, with husband and wife husband and wife well I, do you know I don't know yet because I've not read any scripts <laughs> I've only read the Christmas special but um, I don't know for my taste I think it's a good thing Okay, so we're wary of uh, spoilers, but has Stephen Moffat dropped any hints to you about what's coming up in Series 6? Well, I mean, not really. He, he, he keeps it all very close to his chest. Frustratingly, so we'll go for dinner and he'll sort of... He'll drop little things in. What's amazing is to think that, you know, it's, it all has a plan. There is nothing left. There's no stone left unturned. And obviously, he's been turning these stones over for, like, 20 years. So it's amazing to see how it's evolving in his head. But... Uh, I mean, I, I don't know really. It's it's. Um, I read the Neil Gaiman script. Well, no, I'm going to read the Neil Gaiman script in about a week, which I'm very excited by. I'm told it's very good. Um, I just can't wait to get my hands on him really at this stage and see what happens. 